Hi, how you doing today? Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Green Bay Packers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers video. <clears throat> Cut. So in this game, um, I watched a little bit of it from time to time. I watched it, and um, it was a pretty good game. I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty good game. Um. At first, I thought Tampa Bay was about to steamroll. Well, no, not Tampa Bay. Um, Green Bay. They both have Bay names. I, ain't even, <laughs> I just now realized that. Um, Green Bay, I thought, was going to like roll them at first. Like After this possession, I believe it was, this first quarter possession, after they had first, after the Bucks just scored their seven points, I think it was this possession right here. Um I thought, yeah, that was a beautiful pass. After that, I was like, yeah, nah, there's no way. If they're letting somebody like Marquez Val Valdez Scantling Jr., I think. If they're somebody letting somebody like him go bonkers and Devontae Adams hasn't even been, you know, unleashed yet, that was a dirty catch. He grown manned him. Um they they they're like they might they might manhandle the Bucks, but then I was like, yeah, I saw, <laughs> I seen Leonard Fournette go bonkers on that run. So I thought you know it was going to be a bit more of a grinded out type of game where the um, Green Bay was probably going to have to resort to running a little bit more like this, and um, they couldn't do that that well. They couldn't run the greatest. Um, I'm pretty sure Aaron Jones went out. In the first or second quarter, I'm not sure. I think he got, like, hit a little bit, like, hard. Not going to lie. I think he got hit a little hard. And um, right here, that was an extremely important field goal that they forced. Because if they had – that's later in the game. But um, later on in the game, basically, just imagine their score because they went for three before it is. Before, it, like, right here, they went for three. Um, just imagine it was 26 already, and they're down by five. It's fourth and goal. More than likely, they're definitely going to go for that if they have Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback, obviously. They should have went for it regardless, but it would have been more likely for them to go for it and actually can, you know, convert. So, um, yeah, that, that was an extremely important field goal. This was an extremely important touchdown. It was so gutsy. So gutsy. Scotty Miller, he blew past his defender. That was an extremely important touchdown because this is when Green Bay started to come back. So if they didn't score that touchdown, I really don't think they would have won because they got that 14 in the second. Yeah, and they got this pick, I think, they just got. It, yeah, that was – their defense was was showing up and out. They they were going stupid. Um, Tom Brady, he – he had some good passes this game. I'm not going to lie. He had some good passes. He did pretty good. But he was overthrowing and underthrowing a lot of balls. And that was just like, I'm going to be real with you. Tom Tom Brady is a, is a very good player. I don't necessarily like the man that much. But, uh, you know, that's another pick he threw. I'm not necessarily the greatest fan of Tom Brady. You could say the most, say the least, the least. Um, <clears throat> don't really like the man that all that much. But uh, yeah, this 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 was this was depressing to see. Yeah, he he just dropped it. That's tough. But um, I'm not the greatest Tom Brady fan. But I know for a fact he could have definitely played better than he did that day. Three touchdowns. That's cool. Really good. That's what you need to carry your team to the Super Bowl. To the NFC Championship and win, but three picks and the same three, three these three right here, you, you get what I'm trying to say. These three to one, Aaron Rodgers definitely played better than him. I think this game, I think he played better than him. Like that, that that was so overthrown. Like this game could have been blown out. That like the Bucks could have blown them out, but the defense saved the day for Tom. Like um like. I'm not hating, but, like, I'm just being so real. Like, you can't lie. You can't sit here and lie and say that, that, that is the main reason they long, they won. They had, like, five sacks on Aaron Rodgers. He's getting the Russell Wilson, the Russell Wilson treatment. What, like, what is that? What is, Dom, Dom, open your eyes. I, what I'm trying to say is, this is a very good game. 
It was a very good game. Very entertaining. Was that Gronk on a fullback screen? A tight end screen? That's hilarious, honestly. That was an extremely important field goal. If he missed that, Green Bay would have won. Just just without a doubt. They, they would have definitely won. But, um... Yeah, um... Green Bay definitely had... Like they definitely had like a lot of a lot of these categories lost compared to Tampa Bay. Um third down, fourth down, first. They passed for more first and all that. But I really think Tampa Bay defense is the reason why they just won this game. Um Tampa Bay definitely didn't stay on the field as long. Green Bay had the ball definitely longer because this, this is why. The the turnover category. And Green Bay wasn't producing as much on defense. That's why I said the defensive category. Um, Tampa Bay only punted twice. Green Bay punted three times through one interception. So basically, they had three, three turnovers. Tampa Bay had three turnovers and Packers had f- four. No, three. Two. Two and two... Yeah, I ain't tripping. Pretty much, they turned the ball over. That's one interception, three punts. That's four. And fumbles lost. That's five. So, they both had five, but they didn't really capitalize. Green Bay didn't capitalize off of their possessions afterwards. So, yeah, there's definitely that. Tom Brady definitely let his arm. He let his arm go bonkers compared to Aaron Rodgers. Definitely did. Um... Yeah, you can see these stats and all that stuff. They definitely ran the ball down their throat. Definitely. They definitely did. Definitely. And as you as you clearly saw, it, it, it did them wonders. It, it did amazing. Um, yeah, this is around the point where I was like, okay, Green Bay is definitely going to win. It's around the first quarter, I believe. Um... But yeah, I definitely yeah the quarterback rating yeah you can you can tell like yeah he definitely didn't play as good. This was definitely a little controversial because he had moved. I think it might have been a pi. Yeah, twenty eight to twenty. <clears throat> that was that was definitely not probably not the correct call right there. But um, their running game was like pretty much non-existent. It wasn't there. They they couldn't get anything. They couldn't run. They couldn't run. They had the ball longer and they couldn't run. That that just doesn't really make that much sense to me. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't really know how that works. You know. But but um they definitely ran the ball down their throats. Definitely. With even with Chris Godwin and Tom Brady. They they ran the ball effectively. Definitely. Like they worked it, they like they worked it out perfectly, so they don't really need to pass and throw as much as they needed to because of the defense as well. But um, yeah, Devonte Adams, I really expected a bigger game from him. I really did. I think he had like fourteen targets and nine. He, he, that's not bad, but like you expect better out of like probably like the best top five. He's top three wide receiver. To say the least. That goes without saying, definitely. So um I definitely expected more out of him. But yeah, like I was saying, um definitely expected more out of Devontae. Oh, fifteen targets, yeah. Fifteen targets and nine. Yeah, no, he definitely could have done better. Definitely. I don't know what the that percentage is. Man, let's do it right now. Alright, so yeah, um <laughs> sorry about the little cut. Nine for fifteen is like sixty percent. So um he definitely could have caught better. He could have caught more. Whether or not they were like contested or not, you know that that I don't necessarily know, but you have to catch those when when you're an all star receiver like that in this magnitude of a game, especially. Um, Marquez Val- um, Valdez Scantling, I hate his name so much. Is is diverse? It's different, you know. You know what I'm saying? But you know, could have been better. You get what I mean. Anywho, he definitely did good. He showed up and showed out. I think he did better than Devontae. Definitely did. Six for four. That's definitely way more efficient. That's like 80, I think. Yeah, close enough. So, um, yeah, he. De- I think he 
think I think he got like sixty seven or something like that, seventy. Mm. So yeah, he definitely did better. Chris Godwin did pretty good. He he was balling. Mike Evans, he was doing good. Scotty Miller had that really clutch touchdown. Gronk did his thing. <laughs> um, you love to see. I, I love Gronk. I'm not gonna lie. I love Gronk. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He pisses me off from time to time, but I love him. He hard. He's definitely hard. Leonard Fournette had a. Def- he definitely had a game. Definitely had a game. Um, but yeah, their defense just stuck up a little bit more than you know, good old Green Bay. So you know, I don't know. Jair had two picks that game. He was trying. He tried. I promise you, he did. Damon Harrison thought thought he was yeah. I thought he was gonna snag him off the Seahawks and do good. Huh? That's crazy. Um. Derek, the Smith brothers definitely didn't show up. They did not at all. <laughs> um, Kenny Clark, he definitely showed. I saw him like he was doing really good. Adrian Amos, he had that. I think that was his pick right there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they didn't have a lot of players, you know, show up and out. For me. However, on the Buck side, they definitely they 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 played their game. Especially Devin White. He was all over the field. He was flying. And Sean Murphy bunting. He was flying. Devante, Levante David was... he Yeah. And JPP. Oh, my God. Shaq Barrett, three sacks. Oh, my God. Kenny Clark had that one sack, too. Um, Yeah, they were all over the... Yeah. They definitely got dominated on the offensive line. Definitely. And Dominic and Sue was pressuring i'm pretty sure he, he was he was looking decent coming off of that injury but um other than that yeah i i definitely believe that like green bay could have played better i thought they were gonna win because i didn't think the bucks would keep up with aaron Rodgers and his mvp season mvp tier season i definitely didn't um lakers um I definitely do think that Green Bay is going to be good next year still because they still have a lot of young talent. They have so much young talent. They're really not that old of a team, but they're still great. Like They have a lot of good pieces and players that they still have to use and more people they have to utilize. But, yeah, as for Aaron Rodgers, um, as for Aaron Rodgers' future with the Packers, I don't, I don't know. I I mean, this comes around, like, kind of casually after every season, honestly, at this point. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to stay, definitely. It's, you know, it's, it's really just the media trying to make a trying to make a story out of everything, right? So, um, yeah, I definitely think that he's going to be back this year or next year. Is it, is it going to be this year? Yeah, whatever. I definitely think he's going to be back. He's going to be better. I don't know about better. But I think he's going to hold his weight, you know, like he always does. Hold his weight and then carry some. So, yeah. Um, that's all for this game. Um, I had fun watching the game. I had a little bit of fun recording this video as well. Um, thank you for watching it. And see you next time.